Hi there, I'm Tom from IR Tools, and what I am hearing on a regular basis, nearly every day, uh, law enforcement calls me and tells me about their new drone that they bought. The problem they're having is that as they look down at their scene with their thermal camera, all the people look the same. All the vehicles look the same. And they're having struggles with identifying what they're looking at. So today I want to look at our thermal films because our thermal films are made just to help with this situation. The first film we're going to look at is our high contrast thermal film. So the high contrast thermal film is optimized for detection. So it's made with the highest contrast so it's at the easiest to detect. We recommend this for people Historically, we used them for targets, but not anymore. We'll get to that in a minute. The extreme thermal film, in comparison, this is optimized for durability. So we recommend this for vehicles. So a vehicle, in contrast to a person, sits out in the sun 24-7, year after year after year, and so the ability to, to resist the abrasion, uh, the chemicals, the UV, becomes a driving factor. So you have your high contrast, which is the most detectable, the extreme, which is the most durable. Now, another film that we've very recently come out with is the upright thermal film. So the upright thermal film is optimized for flexibility in observation. So that means that it's very easy to see this film from any different angle. So remember our targets used to be made with the high contrast thermal film. Well, using this film, we had to lean back all of our targets in order to get the good detection that you need for training. The upright thermal film does not have that requirement. You can stand it right up vertical. You can be up above it. You can be below it. You can shoot from the sides. And you can still see this film at just about any angle. So that flexibility really aids in training, uh, your ability to move around the target. It saves a lot of time and effort because you don't have to go and adjust your targets just the right angle. Our first, a fourth film is our clear thermal film. So the clear thermal film was optimized for covertness. So the clear thermal film could be placed onto a vehicle and to the naked eye, it's not going to be readily apparent that there is any sort of marker on it. Yet, when a thermal camera looks at the same marker, they'll see a distinct image and be able to recognize the vehicle. Why would that be important? Well, for one, this could be used for marking a suspect vehicle. For example, officers have told me that when following a suspect vehicle, say something like a Toyota Corolla, which is very popular, they can easily lose a vehicle when it drives underneath a tunnel, uh, a bridge, per perhaps foliage, and vehicles come out, but they're not sure which one is the one that they're tailing. So by having the marker on there, you could actually know this is the one I'm following, or for undercover vehicles. Undercover vehicles could also use this film to mark their vehicle so that with the naked eye, you don't notice it, but any drone in the sky doing command and control could easily see which is their undercover vehicle. So four different thermal films, each for identification, but with four very different specific jobs. So when you want to start identifying, you're first going to want to decide which film is going to be the best fit for your application. Now you can buy these films. We have a kit that has 20 different sheets of this film, of the different films, uh, four of each. So you can get that kit and you can use that for development. You can use that for actually marking your vehicles, use it in, in real time. Uh, but if you just need a quick sample, we do have a little kit with small pieces, one of each, that you can just put your f hands and fingers on and see what the films, different films are like. So. I look forward to work with you because protecting those who protect us requires you.
Okay. 